Hey everyone, Drew Hamill from Nike Stories here. I wanted to talk to you about some of my favorite running sneakers that I've been wearing the past few months. And I'm gonna put links to all of these shoes below. So if you have any questions, you're not sure about additional info, you can click on any of the links. So let's check them out. So one of the best things about the pandemic has been the opportunity to run a lot more than I ever have in the past. I run two, three, four times a week now, and it's really great. Instead of commuting into New York to go to work, I run. It's really helped me with my health and energy level, and just running around town, getting to see different things. And with that, I've been able to try out a ton of different Nike sneakers, and I get a lot of questions about what to wear, What's the best running shoe for me? What should I wear for this type of road condition or track or, you know, things like that. So I thought I'd go through several different Nike shoes and let you know which ones I like, which ones need improvements, and which ones work best for each type of runner. So first I wanted to talk about a shoe that pretty much anyone can wear, the React Infinity Run FK2 is these. So these came out a while back. There was of course the first iteration of them. This is the newest one. Basically anybody can run in this one. It's got React cushioning throughout the whole sole. It's got Flyknit Upper. That's what the FK stands for. And when I run in them, I have a pretty normal uh, foot and I can feel a bit of arch support. So if you need arch support, these are very helpful for that. If you don't, it's not that big a deal. I don't really notice it after about a half mile. So highly recommend these for every foot type, really. Up next is another shoe that I think pretty much anyone can wear, the Pegasus 38 right here. So the Pegasus 38 is an awesome shoe for just a normal type of run. I know a lot of Olympians use these to train in and normal runners as well. They have also React cushioning here in the heel and then zoom air in the forefoot. Really great for propelling forward with the zoom air, mesh upper, and not as much arch support I would say, but definitely a supportive shoe. There's usually some issues here in the heel with your heel slipping. The 37 was a lot worse than these, so I'd say these are definitely an upgrade from the 37 and overall a really great shoe. I'd say this one's a little softer than the 37 in the last so I like it a bit stiffer but this one's a little softer so just be aware of that. Also great just for walking around in as well. Up next is the Zoom X Invincible Run Flyknit, which is a little more serious because it has the Zoom X cushioning, which is higher density, better response. But again, this is a pretty soft shoe, I noticed, so your foot's going to be squishing around in it. People do love to run longer runs in these, so I guess like longer than three or four miles. The price tag goes up to, I think these are 180. Definitely a lot of technology in these, and I've worn them probably seven or eight times now. They have given me some blisters on the front of my foot so just watch out for that as well make sure you wear a thicker sock but also definitely an upgrade from the Pegasus or the Infinity. If you're into trails I would recommend the Terra Kiger. Technically it's the Air Zoom Terra Kiger 7. This one has Zoom Air in the forefoot and React cushioning in the heel. Great for the trails, very rugged, outsole. Not the most stylish shoe, so it's not very fashionable, but it gets the job done if you're running on any sort of dirt or rocky surface. Definitely recommend these. And another option if you're into trail running, is the Wild Horse 7, which features React cushioning just throughout the whole sole, no zoom air. I actually like these a bit more than the Kyger, just a more responsive feel for me. And I like this neoprene sleeve here, it really locks your foot in. This tongue cut my foot a little bit, so make sure you wear a thicker, longer sock if you do wear these. But overall, I love the tread and the traction of the Wild Horse, definitely enjoyed running in these. Now we're gonna get into some more serious runners. The Zoom Tempo Next Percent Flyknit, which came out, I believe, last late summer. So as you can see, definitely beat these up a bit. They're getting kind of nasty now. That's what you get with a completely white sneaker. But the cushioning is really serious. It's got the Zoom X cushioning in the heel and the visible Zoom Air in the forefoot. Flyknit upper. The heel definitely cut my heel a lot. So same thing, you gotta wear a thicker sock if you wear these, but very lightweight. Great for tempo runs, great if you want to keep the same pace, 
throughout your whole run. So I've had some really good times wearing these. Probably about like a 7.30, 7.45 minute mile. And now we get into the very serious running shoes, the Zoom X Vaporfly Next% Percent 2. Super lightweight, these just came out. Zoom X throughout the whole sneaker plus uh, a carbon plate inside to propel your foot forward. It almost feels like you're cheating when you're wearing these because you get a lot of propulsion moving forward. Very lightweight, really fun to run in. Literally no adaptation needed in these. They feel comfortable right off the bat. You know, a lot of Olympians are training in these. They are awesome to run in. And I'd say the most aggressive running shoe I've ever worn is the Air Zoom Alpha Fly Next Percent. So same thing, you see the Zoom Air in the front here like you did with the Tempo Next Percent and a massive Zoom X cushioning heel here. It comes with Atom Knit material which is a little bit more rugged and durable than Fly Knit and you can really fly wearing these. They're super lightweight, top of the line. This is the sneaker that Elliot Kipchoge wore when he broke his records running in them. So really awesome sneaker to wear. Not for everyone, for sure. It's really for those who are really trying to improve their times. And if you're just like a normal runner, I wouldn't recommend running in these, but definitely fun to run in. So there are your options for different types of running shoes. Happy to answer any questions in the comments, but those are my recommendations if you're looking to get into running or if you're a serious runner, check them out. You can see more on my Nike Stories Instagram page, my Drew Hamill account, my website, drewhamill.com, and well, I don't know, wherever else you wanna Google and look for my articles. <laughs>